I'm Shiva. I'm Sandy. And this is Our, Our Relaxing, Relaxing Hobby. Hobby. So we're going to talk a little bit about tank mates for row fish. Is that what? I, okay, all right. Yeah. That's going to be mostly Shiva. I'll be here adding comic relief, I think, because well, they're not mine. Yeah, <laughs> you've been around them. Yeah. Forever. Yeah, they're they're pretty fun. They're pretty fun. They're a lot of fun. They and, um, are. They're not nearly as dangerous and deadly as people seem to think they are. <laughs> they're not eels. No. They're Although not. they kind of look like little eels. They do look like eels, but they're fish. Yeah. Um, basically, row fish are my favorite tropical fish. Um, I think they're incredible. They look like they're dangerous, but they're actually very, very docile. Um, they're they very friendly, are, very curious. But uh, rope fish are, you know, they, they do look like snakes, which is the first reason why people yeah. think that they're, they look all dangerous. They are carnivorous, they are predators, which is the second reason why people think that they're all dangerous. And like, oh my god, if they're going to bite. They are known for being escape artists because they are incredibly curious, and they also like to play. Oh, and they also breathe air. Yes, they can breathe there. They are also known as lungfish. So, they uh, have like very primitive lungs. Yeah. So they so can if they escape. They can wander through your house. <laughs> well, but anyway, they, now, that's really now, not this episode. Yeah. Let, let me clarify this right now. They can't live forever out of the water, but they can live for several hours. Right. So you know, a lot of the reason people don't keep rope fish aside from the fact that they think they're like dangerous or something is because they hear that they're escape artists, which, which they are. They are. But a lot of it has to do with how high your level of water is. And and, and and honestly, I think with yours, they're so spoiled. Why would they want to leave? Yours have never tried to escape. Yeah, but I, I mean, I've had ones that are that are new to the tank that haven't tried to escape. Yeah, because yeah, she does keep her water level low. But any, yeah, I mean, that wasn't this episode. Why, we'll yeah. start talking about it. We'll start talking about it forever. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> this but is anyway, their tank mates. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I have been getting more questions just in my day-to-day -day life about ropefish because um, I guess people aren't either are curious about them but don't have don't know enough about them or have always wanted one or are starting to consider them since I talk about how friendly mine are. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about what kind of tank mates you can have for brookfish because you even though they are very docile, there there are some things to consider before you get um, you know a couple of fish and then throw some more fish in there. Right. You want to throw more fish in there. Yeah you um, want them to have a variety of tank mates. I mean, you don't have variety. to, but you're going to want to. Yeah, yeah um, it's something else to look at. And they like, they actually are so curious, they actually like other fish. Mm -hmm. so they are, and they're very playful too. Yeah. Now, rope fish are extremely social, so you always want to get at least two. Uh, you don't want to have a single rope fish in a tank, otherwise you're never going to see yeah, them. Yeah, you never see them, they just hide. They're, they're hide and they're depressed, and it's a very lonely, boring life for them. You want to have at least two. I've got uh, six right now. <laughs> I've got three pairs. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Whole other story there. I think we could have talked about that already, but yes, we. Yeah. Well, we've gotten two babies since the last time we did a rope fish right. video. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we've yeah. gotten two. Yeah, that was ones. that was partially my fault. Yeah, it was completely her fault. I convinced her to go to the to the fish store, and I we knew they were there, and I said, you know, you can always put two more. What's two more? Uh -huh. and, and on top of it all, it was a male and a female, so there's another pair. Yeah. And I am trying desperately to breed mine. I have heard that it's almost impossible, if not impossible, to breed them in captivity. Not stopping me from trying. So I've got uh, three pairs right now, right. and uh, they all love swimming and playing together. And I'm sure if you've followed our channel for any length of time, you've seen videos of the rubfish dancing around. In fact, we even have it on our opening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Follow, like, comment below. Subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah. We need you. <laughs> In case I forget to say that later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, rubfish are incredibly social, and they are very curious. They're very playful, and they're very friendly. And they will also adopt other species of fish to play yes, with. Yes, yes, that's gonna be some interesting stories there. And it's funny because you wouldn't think, you know, normally you'd have some fish that are really, really prejudiced against other fish. Um, there yes. are some fish that will not, you know, mix with other fish at, under any circumstances. The white and black minnows. Yeah. Which yeah. was hysterical. We had a race war going on between white and black <laughs> minnows once. This is ridiculous. Um, you know, I've heard the quarries can be a little bit racist when it comes Mollies to... Mollies can uh, be, uh, to some you know, extent, the, the mollies don't the really... The emeralds won't yeah. hang out with the spotted, the spotted won't yeah. hang out with the pandas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rubfish aren't like that. Rubfish is, is like everybody's friend. Yeah. Um, yeah, you swim with with the with the plecos, they swim... Mm -hmm. with them. Well, when we were talking about tank mates, we were yeah. talking about what you like to have with them. 
Right. What's a good fish? I mean, like, I know you have some tetras in there, mm -hmm. which yeah. are so Serape tetras. Serape tetras. Yeah, basically, um, uh, tetras are okay. Mm -hmm. um, I've had blue, electric blue rams in there before. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to rams or any type of cichlid, you don't want super aggressive species because you don't want anything that's going to pick on the rope fish. Right, because they are gentle. Yes, they're rope not fish are extremely gentle, so you don't want anything that's too aggressive. I could get away with the rams because I have two males in there. And they just pretty much just swear around minding their own business, and every now and then messing with get, each other. Yeah, they're too busy messing with each other, yeah. and then every now and then and they one get thing, curious. One thing you don't want is edible-sized fish, right? Like something like you know, neons. like neons or um, shrimp, guppies to some extent, the little ones, the young ones, yeah. Basically, any babies. Yeah. Uh, the rule of thumb, because rope fish are predators, and when you have rope fish, they're so friendly and docile and whatnot, you forget that they're predators. Yeah. Um, basically, if it can fit in a rope fish's mouth, the rope fish will hunt it. Right. It's as simple as that. Like I take mine tadpoles. Tadpoles are a big diet for her. So yeah, yeah, mine love tadpoles. Yeah. They'll chase tadpoles around the tank all day. Uh, so anything like uh, neon tetras or the little, little tiny, tiny the, t the yeah, young baby ones. Fish. You know, once they're probably once they're older, they're probably yeah. like little baby bigger, fish. You don't want to do no no babies at all. I mean, yeah, because you can mm -hmm. go to a pet store sometimes and get some small ones like we did the resboras and the mm -hmm. others. And we, there was no way we could put them in with the rope fish because they would have been dinner. Right. So so basically, if you do end up with babies, you're going to want to put them in a grow-out tank first so they get a, you know, big enough to where the rope fish don't look at them as a, on it's the dinner. menu. Yeah. As long as it's smaller than their mouth, you're in trouble. If it's bigger than their mouth, you're pretty much safe. They're not going right. to really mess with them. So the, yeah, so the two big things, when it, well, three things when it comes to rope fish. You want to keep the fish where they're not smaller than the rope fish's mouth, otherwise they become dinner. You want to keep them with uh, fish that are not territorial or overly aggressive that will pick on them. And you also don't want to keep rope fish with anybody too big that is going to look at the rope fish's dinner. Because to a really large, like Oscar or Juana or something like that, a rope fish that, you know, especially a, a medium-sized rope fish will look like a big juicy worm to them. So. <laughs> Considering the fact that I've seen rope tetras fish, are safe, yeah. <laughs> larger tetras. I mean, yeah. rope fish, adult can, tetras. Rope fish can get over a foot long. Right. Uh, we've got some babies that are like half the size of the adults, right. um, but they still look like big worms to a bigger fish. So you do want to make yeah, sure. Yeah, you wouldn't want to put them in there with like say a gar or you know some of the standard fish that you you know. Well, the big ones like yeah. the Oscar groupers, or any of those. You yeah. don't want to put them in with those because they would be dinner. Yeah. Yeah, they do look like a menu item for a bigger fish, especially a predatory finger, right. bigger fish. So. Um, good ones that I've kept them with is I've kept them with Hyalocum uh, brasporus, all kinds of tetras, uh, plecos, all different types of plecos. Um, one of my rope fish's best friends with a rhino pleco, figure that one out. And the other um, one has, and then, and then the others have the riding loach. Yeah, and um, then that was that my was that's really loach. cute. Loaches are fine with them because apparently she was loaches decided they're like horses. Yes, my roach lied. Uh, do we have that on video? Yes, we do. Oh lord, that's wait till you see that one. Yes, yo -yo the loach, the yo yo loach likes to ride the pleco. I mean, ride the rope fish, like yeah. like they're bronking buckos or something. Or and the rope fish can't even speak here. Hold on, bronking bucko, bucking. I give up. She hasn't even drank yet. But. Yes, yeah, I'm sober. <laughs> Uh, what did you try to say? Branking bucko. I was even. <laughs> I don't even know what I was trying to say. But anyway, it's really a cute. It's really cute to watch. Um, this loach thinks that those uh, rope fish are, are, are horses that they can ride. Yeah. And the funny thing is, is I've seen the rope fish actively look for the loach. At first, yes. I was worried that the loach was pestering the rope fish. I should have known better because rope fish are just so darn playful. And then one day I'm looking and I'm watching the rope fish coming out of their little cave and looking around, looking for the loach. They, they got the loach out and then were taking turns with the loach riding them. Yeah. And I was like, wow, okay. Yeah. And um, he actually, like, I, he doesn't really hook on, he just kind of swims above yeah, them. Yeah, he swims above them and just... Yeah, but it's play. cute to heck, cute as heck to watch. I mean, yeah. I've never seen that before. But we found out that the rope fish liked playing with other fish and it started with Boo, the Shabikin. Yes. Sh he was small yeah, for a goldfish, but he was still bigger than their mouth. Yeah, he was... He, he doesn't make it right. He was yeah, big he enough was a, to he be was safe. A young, he was a young uh, Shabikin goldfish. And we put him in with the rope fish tank just to give him some size before putting him in the pond. And he watched the rope fish doing their little dance, and then he started dancing with them. And they would do this for hours, and we yeah. have a video of that too. But that's yeah. when the rope fish learned that other fish were fun to play with, yeah. and other fish learned that the rope fish were fun to play with. So now I 
generally whenever I have young fish, not baby babies, but young fish that mm -hmm. uh, need some grow out time, like the goldfish and whatnot, yeah. we put them in with the rope fish because the rope fish are excellent babysitters. Yeah, for they play fish. with the I mean, they you know they also they play with the uh, with the with the pleco, the mm -hmm. rhino pleco. The rhino pleco uh, goes into their cave and lays with them. Yep, yeah. craziest thing you've ever seen. Yeah, well, Tiamat and Rimba grew up together, so yeah. Yeah, it's cute to watch, but it's just, yeah. you know, you wouldn't think that about any kind of pleco, but Rimba's not normal, really. No, no, Rimba's not um. <laughs> But, yeah, real fish, um, I've also seen them play with quarries. I've seen yeah. them play with... Yeah. Um, yeah, I've seen the quarries swimming around with them. Mm -hmm. Not playing necessarily, but just swimming with them, not, you know, in, you know. Oh, I've seen them try to talk the, co the quarries into play, and they'll nudge the, the quarries and then run, and then come back and nudge them again wondering why they're not playing chase me chase me which is a, which is a fun uh rope fish game yeah they chase each other all over the tank and they tag each other and yeah. it's a weird game that rope fish yeah play. i haven't seen them play with the tetras necessarily but no the tetras. the tetras are a little too timid i think yeah the tetras in their mind probably think the rope fish want to eat them which they don't these crazy rope fish just want to play <laughs> um but yeah you know as far as tank mates anything again we got off track but we can't yeah. help ourselves uh, <laughs> But again, if you have any comments, by all means ask. Yeah. Um, and any she was love, you know, she's she's really good with the with the rope fish. So right. So if you um, have a fish and you're wondering, okay, I want to get a rope fish. Can I put them in with you know? Size, insert you know, your I'm fish sure that here. I'm sure this doesn't have anything to do with friendship, but what size tank would you have to have for a rope fish? Well, basically, um, for bare minimum for two rope fish to adult rope fish, I would say 30 gallons for bare minimum for that. Um, I would more. Well, I'd be happier to hear that you have two or three in a 55. I've got mine, I've got my six in a 75. Now, rope fish are very much like ferrets. You know, once you have two and you have a tank set up and cycled and whatnot, you can add a few more. They're going to get along. I've never seen rope fish not like each other. Right. Which is strange because I've seen other fish who just absolutely hated each other. Yeah. But rope fish seem to get along with everybody. I mean, we just threw two... Uh, younger fish in with my old guys and they're just playing around as usual. Yeah, they don't care. Um, the other things that rope fish need is they need plants. They love playing plants. They do need pl uh, live plants and they need a cave. Uh, ideally more than one cave. Um, I can show you, you know, what my tank sets up is act like. My tank setup looks like and um, Basically, but I'm not the only tongue-tied person. Here. Yeah, I was about to say it's whatever you have is contagious. <laughs> But uh, rope fish, and the other thing that they need is heat. So you need to have the water heated. Right. So you can't uh, you can't put a fish in there that's a cold, really necessarily cold well, goldfish. Well, we have goldfish in there all the time. Well, yeah, but you just, they crazy. don't they don't need super hot water. They're not like the rams. Well, okay. They you know you just you don't want the water too cold. Okay. But they go about the same uh, water parameters as a pleco. Okay. So if if the tank can support a pleco, it can support a rope fish. Okay. They're really not as picky as people might say. Now, I have heard people freak out going, oh no, it must be super hot tropical water. That's bull. It doesn't. Um, I well, went, I didn't know the temperature of your tank is, now I want to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Just kidding>. yeah. <laughs> but, no, but, uh, yeah, like I wouldn't put them in with like Gareth's uh, breeding ramp tank right now because he's got that water jacked up pretty high because that's what the, that particular type of fish needs, especially when they're breeding. You mean those aggressive killing fish that yes, he has? Yes, the, okay. the aggressive killer fish that he has. All right, anyway, well, uh, that's another episode. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, see our kitten, see our uh, murder fish episode, yeah. which aired uh, yeah. a few weeks back. That's a different episode. Yes, but um, but yeah, uh, rope fish, basic, basic rule of thumb, if you can have a pleco in that tank, then you can have a rope fish in that tank. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're very easy. The only other thing you need to know about rope fish is that they are very picky on their diet. Um, if you aren't giving them uh, like tadpoles and stuff like that, you what I feed mine is I feed mine mealworms that I get from pet stores that are sold for reptile food. Uh, the right. same stuff that you feed like uh, uh, geckos and uh, tangus and stuff like that. Um, reptiles, mm -hmm. the lizards. Uh, yeah, mealworms in a can. I'm not that yeah. bad. I don't mealworms in a can, and once you open the can, you have to keep it in the fridge. And then for younger rope fish, the ones that are a little bit too small for. Uh, for full-size mealworms, you get them frozen bloodworms. You just break a little bit off of that, throw it in the tank. If you have a lot of fish in your tank, like other fish, every fish loves uh, Love bloodworms. Blood worms, I mean, yeah. like my Which pleco, are expensive, so be careful. Yeah, my plecos eat bloodworms. Yeah, so, so just be careful with that one. because You're going to want, yeah, you are going to want to put a little bit extra in there if you have a lot of other fish right. in with your rope fish and you're feeding bloodworms. Right. Um, the other fish will scar. I mean, even, oh, I mean, I know, I know that the, I know that the quarries love them. Uh -huh. the quarries will so. eat them. The tetras will eat them. 
And like tadpoles I said, I have work a, too, I though. I mean, tadpole, we, we, she, she actually has yeah, a tank outside that used for the yeah. tadpoles. Which the problem is, is a lot of pet stores don't have uh, right. tadpoles. And you do not want to feed, you don't even want to try to feed a rope fish uh, feeder fish because the feeder fish are, first of all, the feeder fish are too big for Too big fish. already. Yeah. And second of all, feeder fish are gross. Well, um, we, that's a different episode. Yes, we have talked about that, that before. One. But um, if you have any be, cool, <laughs> change yeah. that subject. Yeah. <laughs> don't get her going on that one. No, no, no. It's, okay. All I'm going to say is we have an episode of explaining that one too. It is our why uh, you don't use a, you goldfish for feeders. And how big common goldfish get? That's uh, that episode happened, you know, yeah. a few months back. So by all means, go back and review. Mm -hmm. You'll be quizzed later. Yes, obviously there will be quizzes. Um, if you have any questions, again, please by all means comment. We love questions. We do. Uh, we want you to like our page. We want you to subscribe. We want you to share. Mm -hmm. Do we still have a Patreon page? We still, we still have a Patreon, Patreon page. page. By we're all means, we're still trying this. <laughs> we're still we're still trying to trying to get you to donate to us so that we can get some uh, equipment. Some equipment. Uh, yeah. By all means, help us out. But we do appreciate you, and yes, we and will all the links are in the in the section below. Uh, yes. Just in the description, you'll find links to all the cool stuff, including our website, um, our Patreon page, and um, if you do have questions, not necessarily about roughfish, but yeah, anything. anything. By all means, send us the questions. We we will try to find the answers. If we don't know, we'll find somebody that does. Yep, we're really good like that. We will see you next time. Yep. Bye.